Hi Stampers! This is Melissa the Stamp Doc and today I'm going to be showing you this very cute little Valentine's matchbook. Um, it opens up just like this and inside you'll find your little candy treat. It's very easy to make and I'm going to show you how you can even conserve cardstock and get four of them from one sheet of paper. So I'm going to start by using our new Stampin' Tremor. And if you don't have one of these yet, you have to put this on your next order. Um, this Stampin' Tremor, at first I wasn't sure what everyone was so crazy about, but it is absolutely a must-have. I'm going to show you why, just with this one project. The first thing you'll notice is that there's two blades here in the middle. The lighter one is for scoring and the darker one is for cutting. When I go to do a project like this, I go ahead and move my blades all the way to each end and then that way I'll be able to have the full length of the trimmer to do my scoring and stamping. So I'm going to have to move it just a little bit out and I'm going to start, I need to lift the bar. Now that little knob that I hit there, that locks this bar in place. What's great about that is if you have one of the older trimmers, you know that when you go to put that in your bag, a lot of times that bar would flop, flop open and then all of your blades would go running all over the place. So that really holds it into place. So I'm going to unlock that, lift this up. This is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of crumb cake cardstock. I'm going to line that up on the 3 quarter inch line and I'm going to go ahead and just lock that right back into place. I'm going to use my scoring blade to score that at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to move it up to four and a half inches. Let's see if I can do that. And then to five inches. All right, then I'm going to turn my paper around and I'm going to cut this time. I'm going to go ahead and move my scoring blade all the way to the end. I'm going to cut this at two and three quarters inches. So I've got one there. There's two. And here is the third and the fourth one. So it makes that project go really fast. Um, the other thing that I really like about the trimmer, in addition to the fact that that blade locks in place and it's got such clear markings, is there's a storage area on the back so that you can carry extra blades with you. And that way you're never going to have a dull blade and need to change it and not have one available. So, definitely put that on your next order. They're only $29.95 and such a great buy. So now you've got four of these. We're just going to work on one. And you're going to go ahead and fold on all of those score lines. And there will be one down here at the bottom also. Oh, I didn't get that one scored very good. Okay, there we go. And that's what it's going to look like. Then you want to take your M&Ms or any other type of treat. I like the M&Ms because they actually have a little two from on there. I'm going to fold this little edge back so that it will fit. And I'm going to put it right inside there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just staple that in place. You want to make sure your staple's pretty close to the edge of the bottom. So get that stapled, and then you'll be able to tuck your flap right inside there. Okay. And then you can just decorate your cover however you like. I went ahead and cut a piece of Summer Smooch's Designer Series paper. This measures two and a half inches by three and a quarter, and I layered that on top of there. And then I used some of our natural ribbon and I tied that around the front. In addition, I went ahead and stamped. I did um, some from the Hearts of Flutter stamp set. I did the large heart with real red onto Whisper White and then I did a solid heart with crumb cake just like that. And then on top of that, I also did a little bit of the love from the Chow Bella stamp set. And I just used a marker to do the words love so that those would um, show up. I'm not sure if that's still wet, but there we go. 
So you can see I've got both of those. Now I'm going to run those through the Big Shot with the Hearts of Flutter die. And I've already got that set up here. So you can see I've got those on there. And I've held them in place with the um, sticky strip, or sticky notes, sorry. And then I've got my multi-purpose platform. There's not going to be any tabs. It's going to be on tab two. Put your cutting plate down, your other cutting plate on top, and then you'll run that through your Big Shot. And then what you'll end up with is you'll have your larger heart and your smaller heart. And I went ahead and put dimensionals on the back of those. I'm just going to peel those off. And I'll grab my treat holder there. I'll peel this other one off. And voila. It's all completed. And like I said, from one sheet of cardstock, you can get four of those little matchbooks. Here's one other one that I did using the Mora More Designer Series paper and the Primrose Petals um, cardstock. And you can see I actually used the pink M&Ms on that one. So if you missed any of the measurements on this, uh, be sure to visit my blog. I will have those measurements on there, and I'll also have some close-up pictures of these so that you can see exactly how they were put together. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on future videos and thanks for watching. Bye bye.